Maybe starting with, with the retail segment, I would say uh, possibly Germany after a couple of years with slow private consumption growth can surprise to the upside in this and next year because uh, wages are growing now and uh, th there are some good, let's say, data and fundamentals and uh, situations around that really can make a starting point for, cons for growing private consumption. So that will ad actually benefit the retail market, but at the same time what you have to keep in mind is still a polarization of the market. If you have the prime pitch in the city, high street retail, that's fine. If you have an established shopping center on the, with a good, good connected to, in, to the infrastructure, that's also fine. But in B locations, secondary locations within the cities, just outside the prime pitch, competition is still very fierce. And also the, the rental levels are really going down dramatically. So there is a polarization in the retail market. At the same time, what you see is a lot of the, the big retailers are rethinking their strategy. Supermarkets are trying to come back to the to the living quarters, to the p areas where the people live. They try to invent new shop concepts to get back to the city. Rewe has a Rewe city concept that tries to get into the living quarters again because they figured out that given Germans like or have to work a lot, uh, they, they have to shop somewhere near where they are living. They don't have the time during the week just to drive out to, this, to the outskirts of the city for doing their shopping. And at the same time, driving and commuting gets expensive, so the, the people try to be close to, try to shop close where they are. That's one thing you see in the retail sector. And also, there is still a risk of oversupply in the sense that you have a lot of outdated stock that simply is hard to relet if your existing tenant moves out, especially in the big box areas or in the, in the let's say, supermarket, hypermarket, whatever, or typically the Aldi stores five, four or five years ago or it may have been now six, seven, Aldi sold a, lo a large portfolio of their, their stores. And it was clear by that time they had leases of between five and ten years on these stores. that They will move out because the stores just simply didn't fit their new strategy anymore. So the buyer had a secure income stream for five to ten years, but after that it's very hard to relet these kind of stores. So that's what you have to keep in mind. And the office segment, I would say, I'm optimistic in a sense that you have a decent demand side. But uh, being an economist on that point of view, I would say ger for Germany, the interest rate environment is currently possibly a little too low. So theoretically, you can speak of an, uh, an over an investment like the Austrian School of Economics told you a couple of years ago. The interest rate is too low. A lot of investments are feasible currently in Germany. A lot of companies are, are operating profitably because of the low interest rate. So they are taking up new space, taking new, new premises. And if interest rates go up, they will be the first to, to leave the market again. So in the office segment, you have decent demand for the years to come, but you have to be aware that the location of the property is crucial if you have something longer than a, than a three to five year horizon, that uh, it, it really enables you to relet properties when, when, when companies fall out. When I, when I talk about logistics, uh, the, the, the only problem in logistics is you need a partner that is heavily already operating in logistics to have the contact to the, to the tenants. Yeah, being someone not operated in logist logistics, we are also looking at the market currently, but we are looking also at the market with a partner because we are quite aware of, although we might be a listed company with now 10 billion assets in real estate under management, we have no really access to logistics, to, to the tenants, so we need a partner to really be able to get the tenants to have the structure, to be able to get the tenants in, to be able to offer the whole chain of, uh, of, of things you have to do when you're a logistics operator. On, on the residential segment, I would say, I have to add not, not very much, but you have to be aware of what the calculation of the properties you're acquiring is, and possibly it's not only new build that is very interesting. There is a lot of opportunities in existing stock. You have to be aware of what you're buying, but the existing stock might have a better growth story for the years to come in residential than new built developments. And you also, living is a basic need. Just don't only look at the top seven, top ten countries. Look outside of them because the people have to live somewhere. They will live somewhere and they're not disappearing in the next five to ten years. Good, thank you. Um, the, the other thing is, uh, 
Is there anything particularly on hotels? Hotels appear to be quite a hot kind of topic at the moment. Is there anything specific on that for the for the German market? Specific, I wouldn't say that there's, from our point of view, there's nothing so specific on the hotel market currently. It's an interesting market. A lot of our investors want to get back into the hotel market, but it's also a very competitive market if you're really looking for good, decent hotels, especially in the budget area, because there are a lot of investors out there competing for the product.